Today's adventure has brought us to the old Rhinebeck Aerodrome near Rhinebeck, New York, in the heart of the Hudson River Valley. The sign reads, Nowhere else in the world can you see aircraft of this type at such a close range. Please touch with only your eyes. Stay off the runway. Be responsible for your children. Amen to that. The old Rhinebeck Aerodrome is a sort of living history museum, but it's also an active airport. When you walk onto the premises, you are taking a step back in time, back to the early days of aviation, when airplanes were still a rare and unusual sight. Before the air show begins, Sightseeing flights depart around every 20 minutes, taking up to four paying passengers aloft in this open cockpit, 1929 New Standard D-25 biplane. There they go, another four passengers going on a once-in-a-lifetime ride. I'm going to start with a stroll through the aerodrome's museum hangars to see what sort of relics are hiding inside. Goodness! It says this is a copy of a short S-29, circa 1910. Definitely not in airworthy condition. A Sears motor buggy, $395. That's around $10,000 in today's money. I wonder if it runs. Here's a reproduction of the 1903 Wright Flyer. Several vintage aircraft engines. The sign says this is an L-Bridge featherweight engine manufactured in Rochester, New York around 1910. Originally boat engines, these gained some traction in aircraft use because of their light weight. Fokker Eindecker. This was Germany's first purpose-built fighter aircraft and also was the first equipped with a synchronizing gear which prevented the machine gun from shooting through the propeller blade. This is gonna need a lot of TLC before it will ever see the skies again. And right behind is a Fokker DR-1 triplane made famous by the Red Baron in World War I. Unfortunately, these aircraft sometimes broke up in flight and the design was quickly abandoned. This one is a replica as no original versions of this aircraft remain in existence. Several very old cars tucked in among the airplanes. Next up is a Siemens Schuckert D3 biplane, another World War I era German fighter. Noted for its climb ability, it was said this could climb to 9,500 feet in six minutes. That's a rate of climb north of 1,500 feet per minute, which indeed is impressive for a piston airplane. But prone to engine overheating, it soon was replaced by better aircraft. An interesting collection of old airplanes without a doubt. When I was at Embry-Riddle in the late 1970s, they were still operating some old Link instrument trainers that looked just like this.
an early glider hanging from the ceiling, which was sold in kit form, and Ironica C3. Back in the late 1970s, one of these was hangered at the now long defunct McGuire Airport in Okoye, Florida, where I worked as a flight instructor. You can see why this was nicknamed the Flying Bathtub. A 1929 Spartan C3, which cost $6,500 at the time. That's a little over $100,000 today. This one is a Bird Aircraft Company, Model CK, painted up for what looks like participation in a Centennial Airmail commemorative flight. I'm now in what might be considered the main hangar of the museum, which also has a gift shop. Throughout all of the hangars, there's not just airplanes, but also a variety of old cars and motorcycles. A Blurio 11, a 1911 French design. This one built in America. A French Newport 10 fighter, which most World War I enthusiasts will recognize. Here's a really nice cutaway of a radial aircraft engine which shows how the pistons move around inside the cylinders. Quite the nice collection of vintage aircraft engines. A Fokker D7. This was one of Germany's best World War I designs. A 1930 Indian motorcycle. A Pitcairn PA6 mail wing. This one bears the designation CAM 77, short for Contract Air Mail Route number 77 which served America's Northwest region. It's getting close to the time when the air show is slated to begin, so I better start heading over toward the airfield. The air show will be featured in the next video. Until then, remember, life is a journey. Enjoy the ride, and thanks for watching.